Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. My name's Catherine from Soul Siren Tarot, here to do your reading for February. All right guys, thank you so much for all your likes, your comments, your emails, you're just amazing, thank you. If you are new to the channel, it's a general reading, it's not gonna resonate with everybody. If it does, great, I hope it helps you. If it doesn't, just kick it to the curb, or if you know someone it would help, please do share, all right. If you haven't already and you do enjoy the reading, please do subscribe and share the video. I am opening up to private readings. Um, I've got lots on, but I'll make sure I fit you in quite soon, so do send me an email, soulsarantara at gmail, com all the details are in the description box okay trying to just reconnect okay right i was going to split then i did feel it and i'll split i have pre-blessed the decks leo but what have we got coming up for leo i'm taking an enchanted map i always like to start with an oracle card like this just to see where you are on your actual spiritual journey so for Leo, please, and as it feels a bit discombobulated at the so you might be feeling that, I felt it and I will take it. Right, One Ring Circus. One Ring Circus is about sort of, right, it's coming out of the chaos, okay, because the circus is about, you know, you're dealing with clowns, you're dealing with other people, almost like they're running you round, right, and I love it because on this, it's like, you've put, can you say, you've put yourself on a rock out the way, you say, no, you know, I rule what goes on here, I rule what happens in my life, I'm taking myself out of the circus it's one ring and it's one ring around me i'm moving all of the idiots out the way right <laughs> and that's what i feel like i have to say what i get right because i feel you've you've been in it and i said it when i was shuffling the cards discombobulated and that's how it can feel in the middle of a circus can't it you kind of like Woo, what's going on? Things are coming at you from all angles. There's all sorts of weird stuff going on around you. And for a minute, for a minute, it's entertaining. And then it gets a little bit, as I said, discombobulating. So I feel this is a Leo who sort of stepped out of the circus now and said, I'm the grandmaster, says Leo. I am the grandmaster of what happens in my world, in my surroundings, in my energy. Right, Leo? Oh, a lovely start to the reading. Let's see what else goes on. Because, Leo, I feel like you're taking charge. And obviously, you know, your card is really about the strength of it, right? And finding your inner strength and going strong. And that's what I feel you're doing. You're going back to your core, to your centre, right? You, you, you're wise. Can you see? It's, it's unlike the elephant, isn't it? It's like an elephant, right? And, it, and it's like... It, you know, it, it, it's coming back to that wisdom of what's happening. The waves are crashing around you, but you're not letting them crash anymore. You know, I'm not scared of things anymore. I've gone into my inner self, my soul, and I am in charge of my destiny. That's what I feel, Leo, that you're doing, right? Let's take some tarot for clarity on this situation for Leo, right? And I see the moon. I'm sorry, I'm drawn to it. I felt it and I will take it. Wow, what have I just said to you? Right, let me just show you. Right, first of all, I see the moon though, which is facing your fears. Can you see in the corner? I'm facing my fears. I'm coming out of the dark. And I said to your strength, you, you you are finding your core strength in this situation. You are going within, right? You can you see the infinity, infinity sign up here? Infinity sign. You are absolutely saying, "I know who I am. I'm going back to my core, to my central being." Right? I will stand up and face the winds. I will face the winds of change. And you're being asked to do that. So again, with that being there, sort of coming out of the chaos, standing alone, they're going back to your central source, your central strength. I feel like you may be alone at the moment, Leo you won't be for long but I feel like at the moment it's important that you are right because you're coming back to who you really are that's what I feel for Leo right look absolutely I'll take that one I'm not taking the rest it was too many right but I do feel that's what was coming out the rest was traffic ten of wands you're releasing the burdens Leo who have you been carrying what workload have you been carrying what have you been doing that you don't actually want to do right where have those burdens been on your shoulders because think about it right if, if you're right Think about if you're coming on, I know I get these silly analogies, if you're coming home from your shopping, right, and you're carrying lots of bags, that's a hell of a journey, isn't it? If you're walking all the way, you're like, oh my gosh, it just feels like 20 times longer than it needs to be. So this is a Leo who's actually started to clear their energy, right? Drop those bags, drop those burdens. What's When you actually review your energy, you know I say it, you actually find you're carrying other people's burdens more than your own. And then when you're left to look at, well, what actually do I need to carry forward? It's often minimal. 
I always it always makes me think of the fool energy because the fool, you know, we see the fool, don't we? Where they've just got the little uh, knapsack, haven't they, on the stick? You know, which is like a wand to me, you know. And they're just like, well, you know what, little dogs. Beside, but I don't need much else, right? That's the sort of energy I think you go into, right? So this is a Leo who's breaking for freedom, right? Dropping things that have kept you stuck in the past, stopping the chaos of a situation, bringing your strength in. Ten of Wands here, releasing the burners. And tens are also completions that right. I don't know if I did that, if the divine did that, but anyway. Um, tens are also completions, right? So it's the end of a really difficult journey. That's what I feel, right? The end of what's been one rock solid difficult journey. Can you see how, oh, like, on this one ring circus, can you see the looking back? Can you see it? Okay. Looking back at the situation. It's almost like you're looking back at the situation going, what the fuck was that? Right, what was I even doing there? That's what I feel, lovely, Three of Pentacles. This is such a new journey, Leo. And Three of Pentacles is also about collaboration. So I do feel like you're taking words of wisdom for other people, but you're also stepping back to say, who are the people I actually want to share my energy with? Who are the people I actually want to work with on my soul journey? And these people are coming forward. So you may already be consulting someone about where you want to go, seeking those those words of wisdom there's a beautiful card in one of the decks i can't remember which one it is but because i have so many but it's like he's, he's putting artistry on the wall remember it's he or she you know drawing their own art uh, on, on the glass and that's what it is i'm not copying someone else's but i do want to collaborate with others but i'm bringing my own way of doing things my own way of thinking to the situation says leo right i'm becoming my unique self with that strength card there instead of you know being part of the acrobatics with others right you're not doing it anymore leo that's what i'm feeling right i love this energy oh <laughs> right they're throwing themselves out i'm not taking all of them i take them as i feel them right because they're throwing themselves all over the place right first out there was the high priestess your intuition has been sque screaming at you right and the high priestess as well is all about trusting your inner wisdom right i can't get the lights right on this new setup trusting your inner wisdom your intuition is speaking to you right here i said to you you're feeling uncertain but you trust it's like the wisdom of the elephant and that's what your high priestess is it's your soul speaking to you it's your past lives it's kind of like spirit coming in to remind you to say hey you you came into this lifetime to achieve a particular thing right particular goal your sole purpose and somewhere on the way you lost your way and that's perfectly acceptable it happens that's what's meant to happen because as part of that process you learn and grow you do learn and grow but your high priestess at the minute is saying trust me i'm taking you on this new journey death to the old situation high priestess and death coming in together is very powerful whatever you've left behind leo or you're thinking of leaving behind if it, you you know in your soul if i'm talking to you and this is what you want to do trust me you're doing the right thing trust your intuition it's time for you to move forward it's time for you to leave that chaos behind whatever was unsettling you it's time for you to release the burdens that you've been carrying whether they're yours or others just just release them find a way there's always a way that that's what I feel. Three of Pentacles there to the two high priestess in the major. Again, I feel like there, you might be having a little bit of back and forth in terms of your nerves, you know, your fear. But you, you, you've got, I mean, I would say you've got to do your own risk assessment. And I have to say that because you've got free will in the 3D, right? You've got free will in the 3D, but you'll know if it's right for you. Wow, look, five of cups, yeah. It's exactly that. Back and forth, back and forth. This is the grief card. It, it reminds me of the hermit. Can you see the cloak here? But they're looking down at what they feel they've lost, everything they've invested in. Looking at the three cups that have fell down. But if you turn around, you'll see those two beautiful cups that are waiting. So maybe this Leo with it coming under that strength is in that transition stage, right? Of should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I? That's up to you, it's your free will. But all I can see is you will feel much more at peace going. I, you know, I always feel that I'd rather when my time comes to pass, 
right? Because we all pass, don't we, pass over. When my time comes to pass, I'd rather be there and when I gave it a go, I tried my best, right? Even if it didn't work out, even if I took the wrong path. Because no path is wrong, really, even if it feels it, even if you feel you're coming out of the brambles, you're a bit battered and scarred, you will have learned such a lot from that situation. And that's what these cards are telling me is happening for you, Leo. You're going to learn such a lot from that situation. I knew it would show up, to be honest, the fool right here we go the fool right i said to you light releasing the burdens it's coming under that ten of wands which i said would happen right carrying forward that wand into your future no burdens releasing what doesn't serve you <clears throat> feeling free feeling light dropping the shopping bags type of energy right so this new journey is waiting for you i feel it quite strongly for you i see the sun there in the background again strength of a new beginning right can you see he's, he's like he's on the edge of a cliff and i don't mean you're going to jump off a cliff please don't do that but he's, he's, he's on the edge of the cliff right of the new to the little doggy in the background i'm trying to get my angles right i'm so sorry i'm, I'm getting used to the new scene but hopefully you can see that the little doggy there happiness joy let's go let's go be free and the zero as well i said to you with the ten of wands that's the end of a um a cycle the you know the end of a journey the zero the fool is the start of the major arcana the the two there the one next to it is the magician and i saw him underneath right so we've now got look at this we've got the magician so we had the uh the fool the high priestess and the magician right so the zero the one and the two right so you're bouncing back and forth on this at the moment that's what i feel leo but you do know which way to go and again can you see <clears throat> i'm drawn again to this this the sign the divine sign can you see it yeah the sign you know what you know it was over the strength card trust yourself what you're about to do right now leo that's what i feel i want to say to you trust yourself right you've moved out of the noise the chaos the discombobulation of what other people want for you or other people want you to do you're not going to shirk your responsibilities you are going to only hang on to the burdens that, that are your burdens and then they don't feel like burdens because you accept that that they're part of where I am on my journey I'm not carrying others and I'm not carrying excess with the fool here but I'm making myself freed up to go on this new journey definitely with the fool and the magician right it's lovely so Leo you're being asked to just find your inner strength right the higher font here wow this could be legal matters, but it's also a card of wisdom. So, Leo, if, if you're worried about legal situations, you're worried about, uh, you know, it might be work situations, it could be things like that going on. The wise is here. This is the highest, right? It's the highest of the high, high wise. So, again, it's coming under that high priestess, right? So now we've got one two th one two three four five majors in this this spread no six with strength wow massive massive here heaviness weighing on this leo which is why you're being asked to push through it they're asking you to open your intuitive eyes open your, your divine right to look through the mess and the chaos of the situation because then the path will become clear use your wisdom but know the divine are guiding you as well and the right people will come in at the right time to help you move forward, Leo. That's what I feel, right? I feel you've been hurt. I feel you've been let down. And I do feel you're feeling disappointed. But guess what? Death is here. Death and rebirth. And death and rebirth isn't easy. It isn't easy, right? But it's not meant to be because you don't get the rewards unless you put in the work, right? That's what I feel. What else? what else for the divine for the collective sorry come on divine <laughs> oh my gosh right yeah i got it i'll take it <laughs> right five of wands right this is in in a conflict but it kind of come out as a challenge it wasn't quite reversed but it weren't quite upright so this is the challenge and it reads this reading leo you've got to make your decisions there's nothing worse than sitting um in an energy of do i don't i should i shouldn't i what if i'm doing the wrong thing what if this is the right thing one day i know i'm going to do it next day i'm not there's nothing worse than that you just cause yourself in a conflict in a stress right leo you're being asked to just start to make your path right trust your high priestess trust where you want to go trust your intuition because all will become 
clear. And with the higher font there, the five of ones with two fives together, five of cups is over here. All of these fives are saying change needs to happen. You know, get out of the stagnation. This is a Leo who's stuck right and and it might be you're just still getting your bearings having come out the shite right the noise the discombobulation that's absolutely fine we don't have to rush into anything but the point is do start to put your stakes in the ground right instead of this five of ones where it's all up you know in the air uh, yes no shall i shan't i start to put your stakes in the ground and make your decisions you'll start to feel so much better when you do and your intuition will guide you on if you're doing the right things I promise you it will you just gotta trust it listen to your inner voice okay i want to go to an angel of wisdom just to wrap up this reading for leo right what your angel of wisdom got to say to you because leo i feel your pain sorry i had a drink of water sorry, I feeling... right you, you, i feel your pain in this right and and, and it's, it's it's almost like feeling blindfolded you know it is like eight of swords isn't here but when you get the eight of swords it is like having this blindfold around your eyes you know i can't see the way forward leo that's your choice you've got to take that blindfold off i'm not saying it's easy it's not easy and and, and take your time and rest if that's what you're doing at the moment but know that time is coming where you need to start making your decisions to feel better that's what i feel right right not other people's decisions not what served them what serves you <laughs> oh my god you can't make it up right look at this here right this is like ten of swords right angel right i'll read you what it's saying it's so lovely because it reminds me of this can you see right we talked about it the five of cups head down cloak feeling laden down with the burdens right looking at what's gone wrong in the past instead of focusing on the good coming in and this says everything that your reading said it says the end of a situation that brings relief sadness or both the opportunity for new happiness a weight off your shoulders ten of wands right a weight off your shoulders the end of an addiction a melodramatic reaction which fits with that wrong what one ring circus do you know what i mean you've took yourself out of the craziness of a situation i'll put it there so you can see the message for yourself hopefully can you see that sorry i am getting used to the new setup i think you can read that right the end of it i'm leaving those swords down ten of wands was here i'm just moving forward now right i'm releasing myself because i know i deserve happiness and happiness is what's coming in for this leo it's your up to you if you open that door that's what i feel right but at the minute you sat on the rock right yeah you sat on the rock which is a good step because to step away from what's going on and the chaos can give you the time to think but i feel it's more than that leo i feel you're ready now to take those courageous decisions give me one more to clarify this help what else have you got angels of wisdom to help this leo going through this intuitive death and rebirth cycle coming out of the craziness <laughs> can't make it up the world major major completion two tens here on the deck the fool and the magician showing high priestess guiding you into this new world death and rebirth as well it couldn't be clearer i want to say leo you're holding yourself stuck even if you can't see it right now i'm not saying you might not be hurting from what someone's done to you in the past i'm not saying it might not be difficult to get up and move forward but i'm telling you leo the end of the cycle has happened let's read it a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, High Priestess here. Freedom to do whatever you want, be proud of yourself. This is where you're going, Leo. This is where you're going. Allow it, step through. Can you say, step through the portal? Go, go, go. That's what I feel, Leo. All right, don't stay in that energy get up rise clear and move that's what they're telling me Woo! 
All right, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this helped you if it's for you. If it's not for you, please do share it with somebody else. If you did like it, please do subscribe to the channel. Help us keep growing the channel. I'm going to try and come back for you mid February. I'll definitely be back for March, just trying to fit everything in uh, and align everything. But I hope this helps you for February. Um, I am open to private readings, as I say, uh, limited slots, but do email me on the soulsirentire at gmail.com below, details below, uh, and I'll be in touch. All right, thanks. Love and light, Leo and see you soon.